Hello and welcome to another video. So many of you will have seen these city engine projects where the water is rendered really well and you can see it's moving and I think it really adds a lot of um, value to a city engine project especially when you pan round and you get the reflection of the sun glimmering in the water it really adds that finishing touch. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we head over to city engine now unfortunately I've picked an area without a natural water feature for my demo silly me uh, but I'll show you the principles now when you're doing this it's just worth paying attention to your data management and make sure you've got all your layers separate up in the uh, table of contents on the top left and the reason for that is I've seen people uh, ruin their entire project doing this incorrectly at the last minute and turning everything into a big water world uh, and you don't want that to happen to you so what we're going to do we're going to right click in here and we're going to go new shape layer and I'm going to call that water and then I'm going to press enter just to make sure uh, it saves that name. And then with that selected, I'm going to use the polygonal shape creation tool. If I had some data, I could um, I could just go ahead and import that, but I haven't. So I'm just going to uh, make it up myself. So I'm going to use this polygonal shape creation tool and I'm just going to digitize um, an imaginary lake or pond. There we go. So I've got that. So I'm going to select that data uh, so that I can see all the information about it in the inspector pane on the right. And all I'm going to do is change the name. So I'm just going to select after that. And I'm, the trick is underscore underscore water with all lowercase. So obviously the name can have a capital at the start, but then you want two underscores there. So that's one underscore, two underscore. Okay. And then water all lowercase. Um, so that's it. Once I've done that, again, I'm going to press enter just to make sure that's saved. And then I'll see on the left hand side, it says underscore underscore water. Now in City Engine itself, uh, nothing will happen. This will only work when you export the data. So we select everything. We can do control E to bring up the um, export models window. And then we want this bottom option, City Engine web scene, same as normal and click next. You can pick uh, any texture settings you want. I've gone high quality. Again, make sure you know where it's going to be saved. Press next uh, and then press finish. And obviously I've already exported mine. So when we go over to there, you can see for this whole model, um, it's 23 meg, so it loads fairly quickly. And when we zoom in after a second, it renders all that water and you can navigate around and have a look at that. So good luck with that one. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next demo.